How's it going, everyone? It is Reverse Trader Key, where I catch you guys the most precise bottoms and tops in the stock market. And today, I want to go over a ticker a lot of people have been wanting me to talk about. So I only have so much time to talk about tickers. And today is NEO. I'm going to talk about, and I'm going to go over exactly my system for my premium subscribers, for the ones that are coming to watch again, to show you guys ticker after ticker. More tickers you see of this, the more back tests you see, the more confident you will be in this system when you're in the trades. You won't be scared. You will know to, you know, if you're down on a trade, you know to accumulate more and more because you know what the system is going to do and where price has to go back to. So I'm going to show you guys my, my price prediction and my analysis on NEO. And before I get too into it, do keep in mind I have a premium Discord of only $6 a month where you will be a profitable trader as I have doing this exact sit of system of swing trading and you get my exact alerts with an over 95% win ratio. Click the link down below into the YouTube comments and my description to get it. So here's ticker NEO. Um, as you can see, there's three bands. I try to label it as super easy as possible. The red band is where price hat uh, or the red band is where the buyer should never be buying, and this is where you would look for shorting and puts, right? Because when price gets to this red band, you would tend to see a sell-off, right? Is what you often see. The bottom band is color green because that's your buy zone. The most important band to know is my yellow. This is going to be your short-term EMA 10, and this right here can give you nice corrections. This is where price has to go back to. It will touch this every single time because this right here is where the algos will um, pump it to get over there if it's down below at the green band and they will dump it if it's at the red band and they see this. The one thing you want to see for the middle band is time distance. I say this all the time because it is so important. When there's a long thing of time distance, price will go back to it. Anything two to three weeks is super duper long. Here's what I uh, here's an example right here. I want to find a buy zone, right? I would never buy when price is literally touching this middle band right here. This is would be the worst entry because price could go up, but it could go down. But if it goes down, then you have no then you then you are going to back hold instantly, right? You want to look for when price is below this middle band along with touching the lower band because this gives you the most distance to that middle band right so when price goes away this creates time distance right here we touch the middle band and guess what we have a time distance of one day two day three day and then four day right in here and um this would not be like an exact trade i would take probably just because it's not enough time distance but as you can see when it touches this lower band we shoot up for a nice 12 percent and 2% right in here making nice consistent returns. And guess what we do? We touch the, the middle band right on this candle right here. And then, or I guess this one counts to a T right there. So the main objective is to avoid false signals with this strategy. All these candles right in here, you would never trade. You let the system come to you. Here's an example of a trade that you would take because of time distance and close to the lower band. You have time distance here um 120 so you have one two three four five about a week a week to two weeks we look for the trade and guess what right in here we get as close as possible to the lower band and then we get a massive 17 percent correction to this middle band that is the most ideal trade you want to see is when you get it to the bottom band and then the next candle goes straight up to that uh middle band because it makes you massive gains because the more it stagnates because this middle band is going to fluctuate when price goes down, the middle band is going to go down. That's why when you buy, you want to have your candles as low as possible from this middle band. And a good indicator when it's we're looking at is how low is good. That's when the bottom band comes in handle. Because most of the time when price gets close to this bottom band, you see a price jump. Here's another beautiful example. This one's one of the best right here. We have time distance here. Gets to the lower band, it jumps. And then you can make some nice gains right in here. And then it goes down again, gets to the lower band, and makes nice, good gains right in there. 
Um, so let's look at the current data. So you guys see the back test. Uh, obviously, it does exactly what we want to do. We want to predict what's going to happen in the future. This is where this system is very great because we're going to look for the best risk versus reward in these type of scenarios, right? So right in here, we have time distance. I talk about time distance. When is the last time we touched our middle band? And that was April 11th. We created one two and three days of time distance the reason why this is so important is because it has to touch the middle band i promise you will every stock does that so as you can see price moves in ways when it goes down the algos pump it up right in here to hurry up and touch it it goes down algos pump it right up here to touch it so it's nice to see that but we want to make sure there's enough time distance and we want to make sure we're as close as possible to this lower band for us to start accumulating the shares so and do keep in mind this is a very conservative target i use the ema 20 for um bigger bigger home run hits and those are going to be the ones that where um price just has not touched the ema 10 in a very long time with the 20. but anything over that you don't use time distance 10 and 20 are your corrections I like the 10 because you get fast consistent returns because you know anything longer anything two to three weeks is really long and if it's a one month time frame you'll see some very stubborn stocks like that buy heavy because you know that's where going to be your big money uh lies so the next thing I haven't talked about is your K on the KDJ this indicator down here below is a stochastic oscillator the KDJ lower the K the better so as you can see, when right on here on this candle, the K was 8.99, we refresh it, we make it a nice 7%, and then it goes up. This is right here is good for when to get a nice entry. Because if you're seeing a K less than 5, you know that is really, really low, and it's looking good for a nice buy, buy opportunity. So for NEO, what I want to see, I want to see my price close to 3.52. I want to see it as close as possible to this lower band and I want to see you know just some great distance from this middle band and that's what will what will cause it because a lot of people that don't see this system they would buy this candle right here it's down eight percent and then they'll buy this candle it's down another five percent you know down two percent today there there is no theme to the thing other than they say oh um neo is undervalued I think it should go up because you know look at all these candles that went down we ignore all these candles if you started buying at five dollars you are bag holding quite you know you're bag holding a lot now because you you have no system and you're and it's not your fault you you know not everyone sees this and when you're trying to find bottom reversals you got to be extremely picky if you miss the run it's no big deal you, you just get into another trade because there's always going to be a trade what's what i like about this system is you know when to buy you know when to sell there's no you know question about it you know okay we hit the middle band we're going to take some profit and if you want to trail and stop it we hold for the ema 20 and that's and that's what i look at so i can show you guys that um right in here on the style these are the two things i like to use as you can see price will hit this ema 22 which is this blue band here you know but it's going to be double remember anything for the ema 20 is going to be two months time frame is really long one month time frame is really long for the you know EMA 10, but we look to make our entries two to three weeks into it. So there's a lot of things. It's very complicated, but there's a lot of things that you got to pay attention. I don't want to have all these in because it confuses everyone. What's first hit our first target, then we'll look for our next target. That's why I want to just keep the three bands, make it simple. Once we hit this, we will look to get our next target. But as you can see, when we hit this one, price tends to sell off. As you can see, we, you know, this was the EMA 20 right in here. You guys, you can see if it gets a little farther ahead. I can kind of just see if it goes quite a big distance away from the EMA 10, I can kind of see, okay, that touched the EMA 20. This one did not touch. It just went a little ahead. So we want to see time distance. Right now we're at one, two, three days. I want to see at least five more candles to the downside. To create a nice week to two weeks of time distance with the lower band touch and that'll give me a nice distance to this ema 10 and we'll see if it goes above it 
trail stop it to see if it goes to the EMA 20, as that's the only way to get a home run hit, right? So I hope you guys really enjoyed this analysis of Neo. I try to give you guys the most unbiased uh, thing because as price gets to the upper band with this time distance, guess what price does? It goes shooting forward down here to touch that EMA 10. If you bought the puts here, you made massive money. People who don't see this were buying the top of here. And guess what? They were bag holding ever since as this has been just going down forever. So that's how you get really precise entries. There, you just want to make sure you're patient. You just want to say if there's no trade for today, you just don't trade. But there's always, you know, some type of good stock that you can get in and you can make massive money, right? If you guys want to join the premium discord, this is your opportunity to learn this strategy, have the chart set up exactly like this. I have education videos on the best trend reversal strategy, how to get these indicators set up in a more detailed video that talks about this. Um, the best way to join is click down to the link below into the YouTube comments. I'll pin a comment that says join the premium discord for my alerts and um, it'll be in my description. You can't miss it. And when you join, um, it'll be only $6 and it'll take you to this free chat. What you want to do is click on the subscription tab area, hit the premium chat, um, or you can hit any of these channels. They're not $6 for each channel. When you click on one of these channels on the subscriptions tab area, it will opt you to subscribe. It takes many payments and it's safely processed with Discord. Um, and it's only $6 and is... Um, a little cheaper if you do it on computer because it will avoid the iOS fee um, if you do it on your phone because it's a Discord app. Um, iOS takes a little fee. Cheaper on your computer. But what I want to say is just a little about me. I'm very confident. I've been doing this strategy for over six years. I've been recently starting to do this YouTube channel for these videos because I know it works. I am confident for other people to one, you can follow my alerts or two, use the system for yourself. As long as you get the proper education and, and get a lot of back testing, you will be very successful. Um, I don't try to mislead people and say you're going to make hundreds, a hundred percent on each trade. As you can see, we're looking for corrections of that five to 20% region. And over time, your account, your account will be compounding faster and faster when you get bigger and bigger money. And I only want to charge $6 because any account can do this. I don't want you to be like, well, I got to make over this fee, I, you know, because I know Discord charge hundreds of dollars and they don't even tell you, you know, what entry price, what exit. As you can see right in here, I tell you when I'm going to buy, when I'm going to sell. And then I tell you exactly how to accumulate properly because I never tell people go all in because I'm telling you, you'll never get the bottom. The minute you think it's the bottom, like for Neil, you'll be like, oh, this is the bottom right here. And then it goes down. Oh, this is it's it's impossible to get to the exact price to the penny, the bottom. So we know kind of where the bottom is. So we know how to accumulate properly. And that's what I love to teach. I hope you guys really decide to join this. It changed my life. I lost so much money till I decided I like finding reversals. I like to do the trend reversals. I like to get in early before the stock runs up 20% and then chasing it just to back hold. That's my type of personality. I like to buy it when it's chill, sell my shares to the chasers. So I hope you guys really learn a lot from this. You, I, I, I mean, I'm profitable from it. It's an over 95% win ratio strat. And that's not kidding as I've only lost one trade in the past eight months and as that was because of a penny trade. So, and also guys, if you enjoyed this video, give it a like, subscribe, and comment. Comment to me what's your average share price. Comment to me like, what do you think about Neo? Any type of engagement helps so much. I can uh, tell you how much it helps because the algos will tell you, will, you know, further advertise it the more there's engagement because then people like the video. I can do more videos more like this the more I see that type of engagement and I'm sure you know you guys have tickers you want me to analyze but the best way to learn is to join the discord so I hope to see you guys then there and happy trading.